Hi there, welcome back. This is Nature Woman. I'm working on my toolbox. I added some gloves into this box. The other day I tried to make this video and I had kids going off and running outside and running around. So I was adding all this stuff up wrong. I've added some stuff in here since then. And I'm probably gonna be adding some little wrenches in here as well. So let's take a look at what we got. And I'll try to tally this up better. So we're gonna kind of redo that box a little bit. So the other day I was talking, um, I was just talking to some people I know, like children in the system and stuff, and they're like, well, I don't have an aunt or uncle or somebody I can ask like that for some tools. Okay, well, here's how you do it. You go somewhere, possibly Goodwill. Um, you can go to Habitat for Humanity. You can get a lot of this stuff for really cheap. If you happen to know um, a neighbor or something like that, or somebody's one of your friends, uh, family members may, you know, have an aunt, uncle or something that has some tools they're not using and they're just rusting away. That's how we got these for free. Um, so this didn't cost anything. This is a variety of a quarter, um, half inch, and three eighths. Now, if you don't have anybody where you can ask to get some of the free stuff, what do you do? You can go to Harbor Tool and Freight and you can buy one of these little things. It's a um, quarter and three eighths inch socket set. It's just a little thing to get you started. And this is about six bucks. So don't think that you have to go out and buy name brand stuff and a lot of stuff to get started. This would be a nice little set to start with. So if you don't have somebody where you can ask to get things free or, or if you're not allowed to go to garage sales or anything like that, because believe it or not, a lot of children in the system cannot do that. So Let's start on what we're gonna be doing in this box. Let's take the top off for now. Okay, I added some stuff in here and we're probably gonna add a few like wrenches and stuff in here today too. Because it's important that somebody teaches these children that are coming out of the system some things to have and what to buy. You take for granted, a lot of people do, and I did too, even myself. You know, I didn't think about like knowing how to do laundry. I just knew how to do it because I was taught how to do laundry. A lot of these children aren't taught how to do any of that stuff. So that's why this is so important for somebody to like help these individuals, or if it's a special needs individual as well, or it can be anybody, just a young person at all that had no supports. Um, they could have had a family, but the family just didn't care. I mean, you get that. It happens. So let's not pretend it doesn't, because it does. Um, let me see here. Okay, so let's start this up. This toolbox, I got it at an auction for $3. You can easily get one of these free a lot of places. These are like the old time metal ones. I like these. But the thing with these, they're heavy. And if you drop this somewhere, if you or if you hit some molding or a door, you're gonna leave a dent. You're gonna leave a dent in that door. Most likely not your toolbox, but you're gonna leave a dent or scratch up something. That's why I think a lot of these boxes have fallen out of favor with people. But I like them. That's why I tried to save this one because I knew I would have somebody to give this to and I have somebody in mind that I would like to gift, gift this to. Okay, so before I start going off doing my, my uh, adding all funky like I did the other day. So we got $3 for the box, okay? These are the tools that I got in an auction and I paid a quarter a piece for them. They're not the prettiest tools in the world, but they're good. And this one turned out to be, oh, I forgot what the guy at Lowe's told me this was. Kelm or something like that? It, it used to be like a brand here in the States. Okay, so that's your lineman plier, 25 cents. This is your slip joint plier, and these are nice. 25 cents. Needle nose, 25 cents. And channel lock name, but slip, uh, uh, what is it? Adjustable wrench? Let's call it that. Okay. So those are your four basic wrenches. This here is your pry bar. This is really important. 
because you can pull up nails and everything else. So there's that. The next wrench I would add in would be this crescent wrench. I like the eight inch because it's just perfect. Fits in my hand good. If you're doing bicycles, children's toys, uh, just basic stuff around the house, apartment, this is the perfect size. Now, if you're doing automobile work, like if you're gonna be working on your car, you're gonna need other tools other than this. This is just to get you started, okay? So this is what I would have you buy. Start saving up. So before you graduate out of the system, a lot of the children that I work with, I help them build a nice toolbox. So when they leave and they're out on their own, they have a little something that's theirs and um, that they can keep and that they have. Okay, so $3 for the bucks, a dollar for those, $5 for this, so, and then we got this, which is about $10, okay? So, here's a hammer. I actually paid $4 for this one, so it's four bucks. So let's, oh, I gotta add it up for you. So four, five, six, seven, eight, plus five, 13, 10, 23. And like I said, if you if you don't have anybody that can help you pick this stuff out, just buy one tool a week. That's all you need to do is just one tool a week, you know? And uh, you would be amazed at how much you can, or not, not a week, you can do it a month. You can just start real slow. Just get one tool at a time. And whenever you have, you know, five, 10 bucks, go pick up a tool. Even if you have to go down to Walmart and get some of the tools. You know, get some tools. I mean, you need something, okay? So what did we say? So we got three plus five is eight. We got nine plus five is 14. 14 plus 10 is 24. So we got $24 in the bottom of that box so far. Let me put that down on my paper. I always will add stuff to it or subtract. <laughs> okay. A nice roll of duct tape is always good. We're gonna say that's $4. Electrical tape, dollar. Plumbing tape, 50 cents. We're at 550. So let's add that to our $24, which makes it 29.50, okay? So that's what we're doing. The next thing that we're gonna do, we're gonna do our little hacksaw. 10 bucks, okay? Now you're at 39.50. And it, it it does add up. Now these tools do add up, but that's why you buy them a little bit at a time. And you never know, cause like even if you're in school and you have shop class or something like that, you know, some of the teachers there may give you some like old stuff that they have or stuff they don't want or they have surplus of. So just remember, don't forget to ask your teachers for things like that too, okay? So let's go ahead and put our picture hanging kit in there. $5, nails, $5. So there we got 10. So now we're at 49.50, which is not bad. If you think about everything you've got in here, that is a deal, okay? Let's add in some of these. Um, precision screwdrivers okay these right here eight dollars okay we're gonna add that in and uh, we're gonna add in this three-in-one oil as well because you need to do the squeaks and stuff in your door you need something to lube something up with okay so eight dollars and this is about three bucks so we'll say eleven dollars so we're gonna add eleven dollars to our total and now we're at $60.50, okay, which is not bad. If you think about it, you can basically hang up any picture you want. You can fix just about anything you can with this, with those tools. You've got tape for, you know, like if you get a leak on something, you can pretty much, you know, wait until the landlord gets there now. Okay. Now what I say is, um, Get yourself a nice little set of wrenches. You don't have to have this brand. You don't have to do this. You can get like a whole little set for like $15 at Walmart. 
Um, so you can do that and stick them in here. This is an SAE set. I, um, I think a lot of stuff I ever really used when I was in my apartment was mostly SAE. Uh, when you know you need metric is when you start seeing the numbers on top of the bolts and stuff. Then you want to pick up a metric thing. Uh, these right here I got on sale for $9. I'm going to stick those in here. Okay, so we're at $69.50. So I'm leaving that in there. And let's see. Now what we're going to do is put the top on. Now you can get metric if you prefer metric. This is what we have. This is what we're putting in there. Okay. And you have to kind of like move it around when you have one of these old school boxes like this to make sure your stuff sits in there good. Okay. So we're $69.50. All these sockets for free. Now, if you don't have somebody that can help you get these sockets for free, like I said, go to Harbor Freight. You can buy one of these little sets for like six bucks. And if you get a coupon, sometimes they're like $4, under five bucks. So think about that. And if you don't have a Harbor Freight near you, go to the Walmart because you're going to be able to find something similar at Walmart. And you only need really three eighths, but quarter is always nice when you have to fix little like toys and stuff. If you have children. Okay. So those are free. So I'm not going to add that in. The other free thing too that I got were some pencils. Get anything that you can find that marks. If you find a free pencil, go to the bank. Don't just take them, ask for a pencil or something or a pen, put it in here. You don't have to pay for anything. Anywhere you can save a dollar is awesome. Okay, so now we're back to adding up. This little flashlight is to look behind the stove, refrigerator, car, whatever it is you need to do, or if you're walking at, at, at night or you got, you're outside and it starts to get dark and you gotta put light on your project, you need a flashlight. Uh, this is just a little one because this is a little box, $5, okay? Another thing that was $5, this crescent wrench, well, this um, socket wrench. It's not even a socket wrench. This ratchet, <laughs> this ratcheting wrench. It's a three eighths and I got this from Harbor Freight. I pay five bucks for that too. So now we're gonna add $10 onto our total. What did I do with my paper? We're at $79 and 50 cents now, okay? This chisel, I got this from Harbor Freight. I'm thinking this is gonna be like three bucks. Could be a little cheaper. But you want a chisel to like scrape stuff, get paint off of things. A chisel comes in handy if you just need to make a mark on something. Um, yeah, so get a chisel. Three dollars. Let's put that over here. Screwdriver, a Phillip and a flat. I'm gonna say these are three bucks because they're out of a set that I have. So three dollars, three dollars, that's six bucks. Okay, so now we got $6 in there. We have this Stanley, uh, this uh, stud finder. Beep, beep, find your stud. Um, well, anyway, stud finder, $6. Add that into that, that's 12 bucks. Let's add our $12 to our going total, okay? $91.50, okay? That's where we're at, 91.50, which we're doing pretty dang good. Stanley knife. Now you can get a dollar one. You can get these as a dollar, but I always suggest getting one that's easy to get to the blade and to put the blade in. You'll thank me for that, trust me. Cause then you don't have to get a screwdriver, open it up, put it in. Then you have a chance of cutting yourself all those times. So I would spend just a little bit more money on a box cutter, $8. Okay. These here are hex wrenches. These are like if you are doing something with electronics, toys, uh, furniture. I got these at Walmart. They were $4. So $4 plus $8 is $12. Okay. So we got $12 in here now. You know what? I'm going to put these down here below. tape measure. Oh, did I add the $12 into there? Okay, tape measure, this is five bucks. So 12 plus five is 17. 
which I did not add the $12 in. So let's add our $17 in. Let's see where we're at. $108 so far. Socket set adapters. These are so important so you can use this one socket on all those bits or socket or this ratchet on all these sockets. So here's that. I have the other one in here, I think. And uh, just put that in there so you have it. So you can work any size that you want with this. There's the other one. Put that in there. Uh, let's see. Oh, these here are three bucks. Uh, safety glasses, $2 plus a cover, three bucks, $6 with that and this, okay? Pair of gloves, I got three for, um, I think I got three for $6, so $2 a piece. So six plus two is $8. So let's add our eight bucks in. Let's see where we're at with our total. One sixteen fifty is where we're at with this box, which I don't think is very bad. I think this is pretty good. This is a pretty good box. For $116.50, now you have everything in here to be protected at your apartment, your house, whatever. This is a good toolbox right now. Now, you may need larger sockets and stuff in the future, but look at a socket set. You know, you can go get one of those cheap. You know, we got these for free. That's why they're in there. So, um, and like I said, you don't have to spend a ton of money on it. You can get just like a little cheapy set for the apartment. Just put your furniture together and stuff like that. Unless you're working on your car or something like that, only do you need to go to like a mechanic tool. But other than that, for our, what is, what do we say this was? $116 and 50 cents. And I pretty much added tax in there or I upped a price on something. So that's roughly what this would be, um, what it's worth basically. I mean, it's probably worth a little bit more than that if I had all new sockets, all new uh, um, uh, tools in there, but hey, Trust me, you want to keep this safe. You want to lock this up. You don't want to just leave this out for people to come and take it because tools are expensive. There's a reason why people steal them. Okay, this is Nature Woman. I hope this helps somebody out. And if you're in the system, please don't be shy. Please ask if you need assistance or anything like that. Always ask your case manager, ask a teacher, ask a friend and uh, start building things so you have something so when you get out of the system you're not all by yourself and i understand it's it's tough because you're a child you're not really thinking that far ahead of even getting out of the system but when you're on your own and you have literally nobody to depend on you know that's why you make those connections with your friends and their family and all that because sometimes you may need them uh, sometimes your family might get it together too, and sometimes they don't. So you just have to go by the cards you're dealt. So I hope this helps somebody. This is Nature Woman. Thank you so much for um, watching this video. I appreciate each and every one of you. Please like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification. I would appreciate it. Thank you, and have a blessed day.